Yo, what's up guys, and what's up Shadow Gang? Shadow Man back with another video, and I believe it is March, I would say like March 6th that I'm recording this, because uh, I'm planning on coming back, but I don't know how to come back, so these are just pre-recorded videos that I'll probably be putting down, but anyway, yeah, so today is, yeah, today's March 6th, and I'm finally making this video uh welcome to the part six review <laughs> for jojo's now my part five review did crazy 54 56 y'all 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 crazy y'all crazy it did good on that bro and i and i like that i like seeing that 54 reviews and everything but yeah now on to the review now stone ocean overall is a really separable part like there's some things i like about it but there's some things i also hate about it but you know you know it's not obvious who i hate here you know it's not it's not obvious or anything like i made a whole rant on her but anyway uh back to the subject part six cool part personally for me say like a uh somewhere between an 8.5 out of 10 and meanwhile steel ball run which is i will get to that soon but i feel like i'm gonna collab on steel on the steel ball run video but i don't know yet that's the thing um but anyway on to the video uh basically part six pretty cool part it's about jotaro's daughter I'm not gonna say that disgraceful name it's about it's about jotaro's daughter uh you know screw out just, just say the name jolene cujo now, this is the first female JoJo of the part, which is pretty interesting, too. Because, like, a lot of the JoJo have been male. You got, you know, Jonathan, Joseph, Jotaro, uh, Josuke, and you got Jorno, and, I, and now we have Jolene. But, uh, overall, let's go over some of the characters, shall we? Uh, but, yes, part six as a whole, pretty cool part. It actually, it's pretty cool, but it's not my favorite my favorite is personally part 8, which I will get to that soon and start doing uh, possible read-throughs of it. But I don't know, though. Anyway, back to what I was saying. Uh, yeah, so basically, part 6 as a whole, pretty cool part. Really like it. Uh, I like some of the characters, except for, like, maybe one or two. But that's just me. Now. <laughs> Alright, I can explain. Uh, to explain this, since this part is about Jotaro's daughter, Jotaro does come back for another swing. And I know this is his part three design, but I just wanted to put this for the funniness of the thumbnail. No, wait, 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 wait. I wanted to put this as like a funny part of the thumbnail. So yes, Jotaro Kujo, the most iconic Jojo, does come back for another swing at the part. He does go missing for half of it for spoiler reasons, which is why I won't stay. I'll try to keep these reviews spoiler free since it's now in the manga and we're now in like that phase of of the place. And basically, uh, I'm, yeah. So you know, basically, like uh, the the whole thing of Jotaro coming back was a really cool touch because we we think that hey, Jotaro just ain't gonna come back for his daughter, and he did come back. But he was basically like an absent father for like a lot of the years. <laughs> hey, but hey, but that's Jotaro for you. He has stuff to do. He needs, he, 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 he's cool. And dude, in part six, he becomes so much cooler. Learning more how to be a father and like doing what he did at the beginning for Jolene was really great. Jo Jotaro is a really cool dude in this part. Like Jotaro has matured, matured. I'll possibly make a video on that. Yeah, but yeah, Jotaro has matured. I'm, I'm kind of glad. That we get to see this side of Jotaro that we have not seen before. Now, on to the villain of the part, Poochie. Uh, basically, if you've seen Eyes of Heaven, if you've seen all those other stuff, this is like Dio's number one simp. Now, see, the thing is that, like, that's the only, that's the only thing that weirds me out because, like, it kind of, kind of, like, takes off the part that, like, okay, no offense, but Dio, let's all admit here, Dio and Poochie kind of look like a gay couple. Um, I'm, I'm going to admit that right now. I'm not trying to be mean or anything, so don't go, start canceling me on Twitter going, you're, the, you're this and that. No, no, no. I'm just saying they kind of look like a gay couple, even though they're just partners. But Poochie, I like his character. I like him. I like him. He's not as good as Funny Valentine or, like, Jobin, but he's a pretty cool antagonist. I really do like him right now. I like him. Poochie's abilities are interesting with the whole Maiden Heaven thing, like how, can, how he can accelerate time. 
which is a cool opposite to Dio's ability. But basically, like, Poochie overall is just a really cool character. I like Poochie. I like his character design. I like his uh, story and how we can basically, like, see his journey, too, throughout the part. But, yeah, Enrico Pucci, really good character. Love him. Ho, <laughs> ho, Well, 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 well. Look who we have here. You're, I heard your part got announced in, like, yeah, your part got announced in April. But, basically, uh, y'all know I already felt, y'all already know how I feel about Jolene Cujo. See, personally for me, like, I'm still kind of angry that they kind of didn't do more with her. Because, you know, personally for me, it's like, eh, carbon copy of Jotaro, pretty much. But see, hopefully the anime will probably change some aspects of that. And I'm hoping it does. But if you want to see how I feel about Jolene, you can go ahead and look. But for some new opinions, her abilities are cool. And her fighting's cool with the whole, like, string aspect and everything. It kind of reminds me of, like, the string string fruit for One Piece from Doflamingo. But, overall, Jolene, like, I changed my opinions on her. She, she, she's actually pretty cool. It's just that it's her personality that's the problem. A lot of the characters in JoJo, like, I go by them by personality. Even though JoJo's, you could call it a battle show and you could call it all these other things. But I, I just, like, Jolene's still pretty ant to me, but she's pretty cool, too. Like she she got some stuff on her and she's and she has that big stand. She has those we have those Jolene stands and we have the rule thirty four artist, oh boy. But besides the point, Jolene's pretty cool. Just don't like her as much. Now this is the true main character <laughs> of part six, Weather Report. Now, he has a very important story that's like somewhat related to Poochie's. And like you have to read the part for yourself to see that. But Weather Report, in my opinion, one of the most important Joe Stars. Oh, I accidentally, I accidentally called him a Joe Star. Shut up. Okay. Now I'm gonna get into spoiler territory, so I'll skip like skip like ten seconds into the video or whatever. You just don't hear me do spoiler because I am too lazy to do <laughs> all this timing. Because I'm, cause it is a, yeah, it's pretty long that I'm recording this, but that's besides the point, because I'm trying to go back to bed, bro. Um, Basically, like, overall, I would say, you know, Weather Report, pretty cool Joe, pretty cool character. But here's the spoiler part. There's a weird part where, like, this weird green plant baby is just, like, born or something. And, like, it gets confusing after a while, but Pucci basically fused with it, and him and Weather Report got, like, a Joe Star birthmark. And, yeah, but Weather Report, I love his stand. His stand is cool. Stand is great. Stand's broken. He can control weather. Fight me. Weather Report's the true main character at Part 6. Don't care. Call me Weather Report stand. Suck. Suck pee pee. I don't know. And now, Anisui. At first, I thought he was Diavolo. <laughs> look, I thought he was, like, related to Diavolo in some way till I actually read Part 6. So, oh, look, he's not Diavolo's son. Or uncle or whatever you want to do. But basically, uh Anisui is pretty cool. Like like like, like his his diver drive thing kinda of reminds me of Bucharati. How like Bucharati like does like the zips and can actually go inside people. Meanwhile di like meanwhile with his with his stand diver down, Anisui trip just dives in you. Like 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 paws. Paws heavy. But <laughs> Anisui literally dives in you. No questions asked. <laughs> But uh, I like his character, but he's not as cool as Weather Report. He's not really much of a... But he's... In my opinion, even he's at least better than Jolene. I'm sorry. Anisui may be a simp, but he's still a cool dude. I actually mess with Anisui a lot. His character design looks pretty cool. He looks pretty cool. Overall, like him, love him. And I love a lot of these characters off of this part. Oh, yeah, by the way, sorry that it's such a short review. It's just that, you know, lately I've just been busy... With a lot of other things. I, I'm pretty sure it's... Yeah, it's 7.27 a.m. that I am recording this. So my bad that... <laughs> if I sound like too hyped up or too tired. But overall, that's my part 6 review. Hope you guys like it. I'm sorry that it was so short. Hopefully the part 7 review will be longer. And I possibly will be doing read-throughs of part 8 as we go along. But yes, I have videos for y'all. And see y'all in the next video. See you later. Shadow Gang, Shadow Men out.